Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here, have this integral for you guys from brilliant.work. And this integral is from the JEE mains 2015 right here. And I got this from the brilliant.works app. So be sure you guys check it out because it has a lot of interesting questions such as this one right here. And you can also check out other topics such as algebra, number series, combinatorics, and also logic and computer science, right? And you can also read over their wikis so you can just kind of study the things that they have right here. And what I did was I just type in integral properties and I got the problems right here, right? But anyway, for me, I really like to go to the website and the apps so that I can just do the questions for fun so I can stay in shape as well. And sometimes I use the questions with my students also. So this is the integral. From 2 to 4, log of x squared over log of x squared plus log of 36 minus 12x plus x squared. Crazy enough, huh? Okay, so what are the things we can do? But first of all, let's talk about this. When you see log, is log base 10 or is it log base e? Okay, anything beyond differential equation or calculus, three things like that, when you see log, right, it means log base e, all right? But if you're in calculus one, two, three, differential equations, those crosses, when you see log, it means log base 10. But anyway, hopefully that does not affect our answer here. And especially we do have this integral going from two to four. And in fact, if I don't have the limits of integrations, I don't think I can actually integrate this by hand. Well, let's ignore that. Let's see what all the things we can do. This must be solvable, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a question in the first place. Hmm. Well, I do notice that this is 36 minus 12x plus x squared. We can factor it with our algebra power. This is just parentheses 6 minus x squared, all right? OK, and now all of the input is just something to the second power. And with one of the log properties, we can bring the power to the front, right? So if you would like, you can do that. So let's make that happen first. So this is the same as saying the integral from 2 to 4. And on the top, we will just have lo uh, 2 log of what? Well, if I didn't have the limits of integration, when you just want to bring the 2 to the front, let's talk about domain. Because when you have x to the second power, this right here allows us x to be negative numbers. Because if you have negative numbers to the second power, it will be positive, and you're allowed to plug in that number in terms of log, right? So technically, if we didn't have these numbers, log x squared is the same as 2 log absolute value of x, because we still want x to be negative as well. However, we know we just care about x going from 2 to 4, namely positive numbers. So the absolute value is not needed, OK? So that's just a quick discussion. Anyway over bring the 2 to the front so we have 2 log of x and then this right here same deal plus 2 right bring the 2 to the front log of 6 minus x dx and by the way this is just a log property it's not the power rule even though you subtract 1 it's still legit but you know, it's not a power rule it's just the log property okay now of course we can cancel this 2 with this two twos. And if you would like, you can write this down one more time. And now what? Well, pay attention to this input. Especially, this and that are the same. But this is different than the other two. When you plug in the lower limit of integration to here, 6 minus 2 is 4. And that happens to be the upper limit of integration. Likewise, if you plug in 4 into here, 6 minus 4 is the 2. Interesting, huh? Maybe we can do some substitution, that u being 6 minus x, and hope for the best, OK? So let's make that happen to see what we can get. Let me just put this down right here. I just said that u equals 6 minus x. I will proceed the same way, but I'm looking at this integral now, right? So let's go ahead, differentiate both sides. du will be negative dx, and I have to change my that. Let's isolate the dx, mainly with divide negative on both sides. So dx will be negative du. And now we will take this integral from the x world to the u world. Don't forget, this is x going from 2 to 4. Now, the integral has to go from u going from what? When x was 2, plugging 2 into here, 
6 minus 2 is 4, so we have the 4 right here. And then when x was 4, plugging to here, u will be 6 minus 2. 6 minus 4, which is 2, right? So this is u equals to 2. Now, on the top, we have log, but it was an x. Well, we know u is equal to 6 minus x. Add x on both sides, and then subtract u on both sides. In another word, we know x will be 6 minus u. So I will plug in 6 minus u into here, right? So we have the 6 minus u over, same thing here, we have log of 6 minus u, and then plus log of 6 minus x, it's exactly the u already. Aha, that's the u. And then dx is what? dx is negative du. So let me just put this down as multiplying by negative du, like this. Compare this one and that one. They look similar, isn't it? Well, the limits of the integration got flipped, it, but okay, it's all log functions. And okay, first of all, perhaps let's change the limit of integrations because we have this negative to help us out. Let me just bring the negative to the front, right? And by one of the integral property, when you negate the integral, we can just change the limit of integration, right? So I will just write this down right here. This is still the du. Now I will just flip this. U will be going from 2 to 4. And now this will be a positive integral now because we make, this <laughs> we make use of this negative already. Anyway, the integral, of course, will stay the same. This and that, they have the same value because the equal sign <laughs> stays the same, right? Okay, what's the deal? First of all, don't let u bother you, right? This is just a dummy variable. This is, you know, you can substitute u into x, doesn't matter. But pay attention to the form and then also the input. So this is the same as that because we have the equal sign. And the best part is the denominators are the same. The numerators are different. However, when you add this and that together, imagine this u is x. They will be the same as the denominator, isn't it? So what I'm saying is that first, we can write this down in terms of x, right? u is just a dummy variable, and then I will have another video on what does the u substitution do for u, right? But that's later on. Anyway, this is the deal, as what I wanted to say. Okay, now, I would just say this plus that, and seriously, let me just write this down in terms of x, especially now the limits of the integration are both from 2 to 4, so we can do the following, okay? So I will write it down right here. And the truth is that this is, of course, the original integral, right? And I think this is a good time for me to use the blue pen, so I will. Why not? This is the original integral, right? Because that's what we simplified, for us, like right here. And let me just write this down right here, guys. Suppose I will just say, hey, the value of this integral is i. Therefore, this is equal to the i. See, I have i and I have u. Anyway, this right here is what? This right here, in fact, it's also i, isn't it? Why? Because this is equal to that, it's equal to that. They have the same value. They may look different, but they do have the same value. So what we're doing is that we are just doing i plus i. So keep track of the i. We have a total of 2i right here. Okay? Now, here is the magic. You see, they have both from 2 to 4. So of course, we can just put this down. This is 2 to 4. And then this plus that happens to on the denominator as well. That's why I talked about it earlier. So I will just show you guys the work. We will have log of Okay, what's the inside now? everything together inside, this is nothing but just 1, which is super easy. Then this is equal to the integral from 2 to 4 of 1 dx. And now, what's the integral of 1 in the x world? It's just x, right? And then this is going from x equals to 2 to x is equal to 4. So in another word, we're just doing 4 minus 2. So the answer to this part is just 2. But is this the answer?
No, because what I'm saying is 2i is equal to 2, right? So I will write this down. We have 2i equals to 2. Therefore, i has to be equal to 1 after we divide both sides by 2. So i is equal to 1. And just to be legitimate, I will write this down again. The original integral with the original look. All this is equal to just 1. All right? This is the 1 that we were trying to get. And that's the answer. And hopefully you guys like this video with this integral technique. I call this the integral with symmetry because once we make this substitution, we were able to add this and that together and end up with a nice one right here, isn't it? Really cool, right? So be sure you guys check out Brilliant.Work and also use this link, Brilliant.Work slash Black Pen Red Pen because that's how you guys can support my channel. And I really appreciate that. And they offer a 20% off discount if you are one of the first 200 subscribers. Okay, really cool. But in the meantime, let me give you guys another integral from Brilliant.Work that's similar to this. And if I can hit 20,000 views on this video, I will do a video solution on this integral right here, right? That's it. So good.